Okay, so you've got uh, the soldier here um, as a card. So, you know, they could be somebody that you're dealing with or you're attracted to uh, who wears a uh, uniform. So somebody that has got a profession that is, um, to, you know, whatever they're doing, doing they are uh, somebody in uniform. You've got an anger card over here. So you're dealing with somebody who is a bit upset about something as well. And you've got a blonde woman here um, that is uh, very significant uh, in this whole scenario. So some person coming in uh, to your arena, uh, somebody but that might be um, involved in your love life, uh, a blonde woman featuring quite uh, heavily there in your, uh, in your life. So in the past, you've got a victory card over here. So it shows that, you know, you were successful in something that in your endeavors. Uh, and you've got an angry woman as well. So uh, you, you seem to have upset somebody. So you've got two angry women over here and they seem to be both be, they may not be the same person. They might be somebody else, but it seems like somebody's thrown a bit of a temper tantrum over there. Uh, not very happy about something that was done. So going into the future, you've got uh, waiting. So you're waiting for things to come. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to come in. You see this woman looking to the future, making plans, but waiting for uh, a love uh, interest. So maybe you haven't, uh, met somebody yet and you're waiting for this person to come in right now and uh, there seems to be a lot of gossip and, and chattering going on around you so people are uh, talking there might be some gossip going on around uh, maybe you're also listening to the gossip that is going on around uh, while you're waiting for this person to come in but there seems to be uh, a, a lot of news uh, in your arena and you're, you're hearing a lot of things so people talking a lot around you Okay, you've got the Temperance card uh, coming in for you. Oh dear. <coughs> Which is showing a lot of balance and healing that is going on in your life. It seems like, you know, you're, you've reached a point where, you know, you're taking things pretty easy. Uh, you know, you are focused on your health and your well-being. Uh, and, you know, you're trying to make sure that you, things don't unsettle you. So you have this element of, of balance that is going on around you. And you're trying to make sure that everything's stable. So you're trying to bring in that energy of stability within your life. You might be reviewing all the facts in your life and trying to come to a, some kind of conclusion where you are... Uh, you know, not um, you're not overindulging in anything, and you're trying to keep everything, uh, you know, uh, very stable. So what's happening with you? Uh, it looks like you do need to take a little bit of a break over here, or you're trying to take a little bit of a break after a lot of hard work. Uh, with this four of um, swords over here, you can see there's uh, you know getting back to nature here, and uh, you know doing a lot of thinking. Uh, about plans for the future so with the temperance card it's also talking about you know taking a break and getting some relaxation um you know bringing in that balance in your life and with this four of swords it's also you know doing a life review and getting back if you're being ill recently you're you're recovering from that illness now there is a new job offer coming in for you or there are new there's a new um something new coming in as far as money goes so it, it's either new money coming in uh, like a promotion or um a raise or it could well be a new job that you are uh, pursuing at the moment. And it seems like you're just taking a little bit of a break before you start something new, a new cycle beginning for you. So in the past, you've got the Queen of Staves, which is actually your card. So you have come into your own. You're very, very independent, um, you know, and you are saying exactly what you mean. And you have taken control of that situation. You might be in uh, charge of a lot of people, communicating with a lot of people. There might be, you know, a lot of international people that you're dealing with as well in your work. And you're coming across as a person of authority and a person who is a very proactive person, you know, somebody who uh, who gets the job done. So this is how you've been coming on in the last uh, year. And you've got also the Sun card, which is also your card. So two of your cards coming into your power completely. Things are looking on, you know, things on the up and up here as far as your work goes. Uh, it seems like you're achieving a lot right now. So you've been focused on work and you've been achieving a lot. And that's uh, maybe this is a new promotion or a new job coming that pays better money for you. So what's in your mind is, uh, you know, you're worried about financial loss. You're worried that um, you, you're incurring debts um, and you're worried that um, uh, you, have, uh, you have a sense of lack going on around you where you feel like you're not making enough money or whatever you've um, been earning has not been paying well enough. And this is probably why, uh, you, you know, you want this new job. Maybe you applied for this new job and that seems to be coming in for you. 
So going into the future, there's an old um, a cycle ending over here. You've got the Ten of Cups over here. So whatever emotional cycle you've had seems to be coming to an end. Now it looks like, you know, you're involved in a very, very um, happy family life. It seems like, you know, you are um, very uh, relaxed in it and you are enjoying uh, the company of your partner. Uh, but it seems like with this new job, uh, changes are going to be coming in as far as your family life goes. So maybe that's going to take you into a different level. Maybe the status quo is going to be changing now that you've got a new job coming in. And the old cycle of maybe, um, you know, just getting on with things or, or um, the, the old cycle has is now coming to an end. There are new beginnings that are going to be happening for you soon as far as that uh, family life goes. So you've got the full cards. You are planning on doing starting something brand new. So taking a leap of faith and doing something completely new. So the old has ended, and now you're starting something brand new. You want to, um, you know, you want to go forth, and you want to do something you've never done before. Um, there's a lot of hope, inspiration over here coming in with the star card, and a lot of uh, divine guidance as well coming in for you. So you know, uh, whatever you're doing, you're on the right path right now, and it seems like um, you're very calm. Uh, um, it doesn't seem like anything is phasing you at the moment and you are being divinely guided towards this. So the chariot, you might be planning on buying a new home or you're planning on relocating uh, for this new job that you're starting. So you, it looks like maybe you, you're planning on buying a new home uh, and maybe this is why you're trying to put aside money. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough funds to actually buy this new home, but you, this is what you hope to do. You hope to buy a new property or you hope to relocate to a better position so that you can um, have a better home, a better life, and you are determined to succeed. This is a card of achievement. You've got a lot of goals in your mind, and you are determined to succeed at that. So you are disappointed with things that happened to you in the past. Uh, there, you're crying over things that you didn't achieve. So uh, thinking about, um, maybe you've been doing a lot of reminiscing about the past and thinking about the things that you didn't achieve rather than looking at the things that you have achieved. So a little bit of air of depression that's spilling over into your relationship now you do have a really a good relationship over here you seem you know there's a lot of happiness within that relationship that you have but you know you might be uh, feeling a bit discontent maybe you're feeling like things are not moving uh, maybe you're feeling like your vision is changing and it's not in keeping with how your family life is at the moment um it seems like with this Knight of Coins, you want to focus more on, on your work and maybe you're being, uh, maybe you feel like the uh, family situation that you're in or the relationship that you're in is becoming a bit restrictive or a bit, dare I say, boring uh, because you want to go out and you want to, um, you know, achieve your goals as far as your finance goes. So you're trying to, um, you know, it, it seems like this is affecting your partner too. They're also feeling uh, that, you know, you might be feeling a bit bored or you might be feeling a bit discontent with the relationship, even though it is a good relationship. And maybe this is why you want to bring about a little bit of a change. So it looks like the Knight of Coins is coming in and that's you uh, pursuing your your dreams as far as your career goes. So it seems like even though you do have a reasonably good um, relationship, this new job that comes in is going to push you more in towards the work front where you are working pretty hard, pretty long hours. And um, it seems like that might have a little bit of a knock-on effect on your family life and it's going to change the dynamics of that relationship. You need to spend a, a lot more time with your partner, discuss things with them, and make sure that they are not out of the loop uh, so that you know you they don't feel like you are ignoring them or that you are bored with them because you know this in itself can break up a relationship and stop you know you need to stop thinking about the things that you didn't achieve because uh you know you have a happy family life and that is an achievement in itself so although you're going to be spending a lot more time in your work make sure that you are making quality time for your family because uh, they are very very important so i'm going to just draw some cards from the um archangel tarot and it says the Emperor card, which says stability, efficiency, taking charge of the situation, ambitious plans. So you do have a lot of ideas and plans and you do want to get ahead. So you, it looks like you are going to, you are vying for a position of authority and you are focused a lot more on your work. Uh, with the Nine of Raphael, it says make a wish, dreams become a reality, a joyful time in life. So you are, you know, everything that you want, you will get uh, as far as your um, work life goes, as far as your career goes. Uh, as far as your uh, home life goes, so it's it's to make a wish. Um, so it's a good time to uh, decide what is important to you and uh, make sure that you're keeping that. Uh, don't lose uh, the things of value. So it's important to decide 
what is valuable to you. And you've got the Four of Gabriel. The Four is usually a very stable card, a time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdens and situations. So you're reaching a phase of real stability. Now, people say that stability usually causes boredom. Uh, but in your case, it's, you know, it's everything that you wanted. You have the partner that you really uh, enjoy or that really loves you because you can see this person does really love you. There is a cup there and that cup is full. This person has a lot of love for you, um, you know, and they are very giving and caring, uh, you know, and um, it's good not to lose sight of that uh, before you start getting a bit bored or uh, tired of a situation. So you are going to be uh, achieving financial stability as well because the four is also about financial stability. You can see um, the four uh, card is also about home, home stability. So maybe buying a new home that is more stable for you. But it seems like your focus is changing a little bit and moving more towards your work life rather than focusing on this relationship. It, it looks like you are moving into a new phase with this full card and you're taking that leap of faith. So you might be starting a new job um, that you haven't done before and new money coming in over here in order for you to be able to uh, buy the place that you want because you are thinking of buying a new home and it looks like you will be focused a lot more on your money or on your work.